If something should happen to me, put on my suit. The reindeer will know what to do. Yeah, right. Christmas, all right? You smell like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa. Merry Christmas, you wonderful old Billy and Lone! <laughs> you use up all the glue on purpose. Then cook it down now. Now! 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas Eve, so this morning we have a special holiday edition of the Loper Report, and we're talking about our favorite Christmas movies. Now! Now! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how can you go wrong with Arnold in a Christmas movie? So, you know, the Christmas movies, you know, are my favorite tradition. Mm -hmm. Presents are nice, family, family's okay, but Christmas movies are really where it's at. And so, you know, it's, it's nice as a tradition every year to look forward to the same, like, crop of movies. You don't really have that with, like, Thanksgiving no, or anything you else. And we're seeing a lot of them, a lot of them right now. I saw Home Alone mm -hmm. was on the other day. And, oh, yeah. And I'm hoping for one of my favorites. What's that one? <laughs> Die Hard. <laughs> Die Hard, <laughs> yes. It on Christmas. He's going home for Christmas. People will laugh at me when I say this. It is a Christmas movie. Christmas and if you movie. like Christmas movies, but you want more explosions, explosions yeah. then you can't go wrong with Die Hard. Bruce Willis. Come Bruce on. Willis. And fun facts, he was actually the sixth choice to play John McClane. Arnold Schwarzenegger really? was before him, Sylvester Stallone. No kidding. Even Richard Dean Anderson, MacGyver. MacGyver was, was before, before him. Yeah, because he was an established TV star. But oh, but so he really spread it. the holiday cheer. I really did. I, I like that. With some Alan Rickman and Bruce Willis. Now, one of mine, and yeah. this we watch every year when we Home set Alone. the Christmas tree, is Home Alone. Yeah. And this was the most awesome movie as a kid. Because I'm thinking, if burglars ever try to rob my house, I'm totally prepared. I'm going to set up traps everywhere. Yeah. I know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, what kid hasn't, you know, put aftershave on their face and screamed in the mirror? I mean, yeah. I did that at least twice last week. So, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, another fun fact: Joe Pesci, uh, yeah. when he bites Macaulay Culkin's finger, he actually mm. leaves a scar. It was a, it was no a real kidding. bite. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And if you if you look at the photo of Buzz's girlfriend where, where Macaulay Culkin goes, mm -hmm. Buzz's girlfriend, woof. It, it was actually a boy in the picture. So oh, watch for that. that next time. Well I think I think one of the one of my favorites is is Wonderful Life. Well, I mean, you, did they really know, you know, when they were making that movie, I wonder what this was going to be a, an absolute classic? No, they didn't. Actually two of the writers when they said when they saw the finished product, they called it rotten. They didn't like it at all. Really? And when it hit theaters, it was actually a flop in 1946. Oh, no kidding. But, I mean, time has shown it to be, yeah, it's become mm. one of the classics, and it's, it's probably my favorite Christmas movie easily as well. And if you don't tear up at the end when mm -hmm. everybody comes to, you know, give yeah. them the money and, uh, you know, shows that he really did have an effect on people's lives, if you don't have a dry eye, I don't know. So this was... Jimmy Stewart's first on-screen role after the Second World War. Mm -hmm. Yep, he came back from World War II, and he was a little nervous about doing the on-screen kiss, mm -hmm. but he ended up doing it with the flying colors, and they actually had to do another take because it was a little too passionate for the censors at the time, so. Oh, it is such a good movie. I think, and doesn't NBC own the rights to this now? Um, I don't know. I, I just know they, that, yeah, they do. They do. So and real, yeah, so. they, they always air it on Christmas Eve yeah. a bunch of times in a row. And so when we come back from our family, I always put it on the TV and watch it. There so. we go. All right. Those are some good ones. <laughs> they are. Don't forget Die Hard. And if you can work Arnold into a Christmas movie. Uh, yeah, I mean, then know, he should be in every Christmas That's movie. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back. Start right, about time. Well, <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're going to take a break and get